the next one that we're going to be talking about uh, is, um, well, first of all, actually, I'm going to do that reminder. Please do put in some Q&A questions into the app. Um, they're there. That's the only way we're doing it. We're not sharing microphones because of COVID. Uh, so if you can actually put that in, that'd be great. There's a QR code as well as the uh, app box. Our next speaker is uh, Dr. George Ruby, um, who'll be presenting as radiation oncologist from um, Sydney, who's be presenting on how PS May PET CT can improve delivery of radiotherapy. That's you, George. <laughs> so, um, sorry, can you hear me? Oh, yes, loud and clear. Um, Annette, Michael, thank you very much for the uh, invite um, and uh, thank you to all the preceding speakers. They've actually made my 12-minute talk much easier because it's quite an Herculean task to cover the application of PSMA PET to uh, radiotherapy in just 12 minutes. So let's get on with it. Take a deep breath and... Where's my... Oh, I'm over here. Um, so the many ways that um, radio, the PSMA PET improves radiotherapy. So we're going to go from staging, which has been beautifully touched on to outcome assessment and it drives our research program at North Shore. And that's to me perhaps the most important part of PSMA PET in our practice because we're getting better and better because of you guys. Um, I'm going to use lots of dirty RT acronyms, so simultaneous integrated boost, which is essentially the same as dose painting. GTV boost, same thing again. We're going to talk about that in relation to the flame trial. Um, MDT is just another word for SBRT. It's metastasis-directed therapy. Uh, I'm going to talk about addiction, so open up your amygdalas. Um, you'll see what I mean by that shortly. There's going to be one scatological sandwich, which Michael's permit permitted me to use, and we're going to end with um, the late John Lennon. So um, in terms of uh, staging, I'm not going to go into this in detail, but I would say that you know, even before Michael's Sentinel um, uh, pro-PSMA study, there was local data from our institution looking and funnily enough having exactly the same sort of results that you guys have shown. Um, not much point in staging in ISUP2, but from ISUP3 onwards, uh, really useful not for just upstaging about 5 15%, 5% for METs, 15% for lymph nodes. Um, perhaps most importantly, as has been alluded to by Tom, downstaging from M1 to M0 in about 2 to 3% of cases as well. And that's really important for the patient in front of you. Uh, one of the most important rad -onc trials has been the FLAME trial. Um, and that is all about using P, well, in their case, multiparametric, but we've uh, included PSMA PET to, uh, in our program, and I'll show you some of our results. We also use it to hopefully make our art better. So looking at delineating where people fail after our treatments, either definitively or with salvage radiotherapy. And again, um, we then led on to do a focal retreat program, that sort of busting dogma. You know, a lot of people will say, once you've had radiotherapy, you can't have more. I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, the um, Shankar is a, is a local leader in uh, SBRT, so uh, we don't need to talk too much about that. But again, the evidence base here, with the exception of the FLAME study and Michael Hoffman's Sentinel, seminal um, pro-PSMA study, is actually quite low tier, particularly the dodgy stuff by Ruby et al. Um, the, and, and that's what we're talking about here. I'm going to move on because this has been so well covered. Um, the... More important stuff, and this is where I start to get excited as a radiation oncologist, is the flame, st the FLAME study has shown a threefold reduction in the absolute local recurrence rate after radiotherapy simply by dose painting the uh, gross tumour volume or the dominant intraprostatic lesion. And this is really important because you can crank the dose up to the GTV, to the predominant tumour, that's where we know most failures occur, actually de-escalate dose to urethra, which I haven't shown on that slide because this is a really old one, and your results should be better with the same or less toxicity. Um, so in our program, if we're giving 60 gray and 20 fractions, which we would call conventional standard um, hypofractionation, we'll push the GTV up to 66 gray. If we are using our five fraction SBRT, we'll push the GTV up to 45 and five, we'll have a CTV dose of 40 and 5, and we treat the rest of the prostate to 36.25, which is pretty much a standard dose, but then de-escalate the urethra if we can. And as I've already alluded to, this is covered in the FLAME trial. So early results. I, I don't want to talk too much about the results because the median follow-up here is um, only two to three years, 
but we basically started doing this in 2015. So clearly when the flame trial came out last year, we were very happy to be validated uh, and we felt quite relieved that it showed uh, a benefit to doing this. But as you can see, perhaps the most important thing about the study is in terms of the survey, when we asked the men who had had this five fraction treatment program, do you have more bother than you had before um, radiation treatment? the um, absolute numbers did not change. And perhaps just as importantly from a consumer perspective, decision regret was less than 5%, which is fantastic. Now there's a selection bias there because they have to see urologists to get to us, so they, they've had more consultations. But I still think this talks to our PSMA guided uh, focal approach, which is really, really exciting. And that program's now uh, accrued hundreds of men. Um, this has been touched on as well a decade ago when we saw patients who had failed post-radical prostatectomy. We treated with sort of a prostatic fossa field, that's the planning target volume there, and we failed in about 50% of cases. And again, this is where PSMA PET scan has an amazing um, impact. This is an early study, uh, local Sydney data, um, and it just shows that we can nuance what we do in this situation and um, for example, we've now got options. We can boost a local recurrence in the prostatic fossa. We can treat an oligomet with SBRT. We can treat the entire pelvic nodal basin and give simultaneous integrated boost to um, any involved nodes. And finally, perhaps we can de-escalate treatment. And that's where Matt Roberts and the DIPA trial comes in if the PSMA is negative and they've got favorable EUA risk favorable disease. And I think DIPA is going to be really important in this space. Um, in the US, prior to um, novel imaging, uh, the SPORT trial has sort of set the stage for comprehensive irradiation. And, and I do fear that um, this may take over standard radiotherapy practice, and I, I'm not sure that a, a more is better approach is always the right thing to do. And I think we can do a more nuanced approach. Here, for example, there's a clear local recurrence at seven o'clock. Do we need to treat all the nodes? Why not just treat the fossa as we would have previously, but boost that local recurrence? That way, reducing the toxicity to the pelvic floor, to the bladder, to the rectum, but still nailing the recurrence, and you guys allow us to do that. An oligomet, if it's just one node, and I'll show you some early results of um, our data here. And uh, so we can dose paint that. Or again, if there were several pelvic nodes, can we emit the prostatic fossa to save the toxicity down below, particularly incontinence, late pelvic floor issues, and nail the nodes within the pelvis? So what does um, our SBRT program look like? Um, this is work in progress. One of our lovely registrars is just putting this together. If we look at 103 men we've treated with a median follow-up of five years, maximum three sites, most of them were solitary, you can see that we can push people out with serial SBRT in, 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 in up to three cases in, in, in the most recent case, or if they come back in multiple spots, we can then run over the previous SBRT field with a nodal um, comprehensive nodal field with SIB if need be. Um, you can see up front, we only cure, you have to tell patients this is not a curative approach, we're probably going to delay ADT um, and kick the can down the road. Um, this PSA plus two is probably the more important of our curves because this is the one that allows um, other interventions to take place. Why did I talk about addiction? Every Monday, we meet with our PSMA um, specialists, uh, dual trained. We go through, you'll see on our database, we actually will use PSMA PET scan as an event. If you click on the PSMA, we'll get one of those lovely tables, just like Tom showed, local, regional, metastatic, SUV comments. So we actually plan our radiotherapy, we plan our boosts with our uh, Nuke Med physician uh, every Monday, and we're very grateful to Ed Shaw for that and you, of course, Paul Roach. Um, the um, PSMA has become the ground truth for all our data, and it's quite easy to then whiz back. We have um, the ability to do, well, we, we clearly do lots of PSMA pets, as you can see from here. We treated SBRT to a right iliac node. We wait for the PSA to double before we do another PSMA pet. That's our standard practice. Um, and eventually, you can see, um, failed in front of L5, got SBRT, but now it's needed um, ADT for relapse, but we've pushed this guy out 
um, several, several years with this approach. The scatological sandwich. Um, Sydney is the Balkans of uh, medicine, really. There seems to be a nuke med department on every corner, and um, we still get these streams of consciousness. This is a report from about two weeks ago, not from North Shore and not from St Vincent's, I might add. But if I want to read this stuff, I'll pick up a Thomas Bernhard novel in my spare time, because to get to any guts here, you have to read that for at least 20 minutes. This is clearly, and again, this talks to Tom Hope's comments, this is clearly something that's come out of uh, Andy or Victor at St Vincent's, uh, perhaps a North Shore type approach. Again, templated, we can go straight to the guts. We see the SUV, and as a radiation oncologist, you can see where these nodes are, and you can almost be mentally treating this patient while you read the report. I've got 10 seconds to go. Uh, John Lennon, the more I see, the less I know for sure. Such a beautiful quote, it applies so germanely to what we're talking about here, and I particularly liked. We have an obligation as craft groups to come together and cut down the less I know for sure by putting people onto studies, by collecting the data, and just like I think beautifully shown by um, Dr. Fendler, really thinking about how we catch up, how the evidence base will catch up with this wonderful new technology. I'm going to end there. Thank you very much.